again good morning students uh, in this class we are going to solve one more question in the projection of planes i just written the question in the board i think it is visible to you otherwise i will write it once for you uh, in this question we are going to process with a pentagonal plane in the last class i think we processed with a square plane now i am going to work with the pentagonal plane in the previous classes i taught you that how to draw the pentagon in easier ways uh, how to draw with the uh, included angle method and uh, how to draw the inscribed circle method these things we discussed so in i hope you practiced the drawing of pentagon in your home with your tools and in this question a pentagonal plane of psi 40 mm its dimensions are given in order to draw a pentagon we need only the side length if we are provided with the side length of a pentagon then we can draw a pentagon so 40 mm is resting on vp it is going to rest on vp by one of its corners not the plane is completely going to rest on the vertical plane with its surface it is going to rest on the vp by one of its corners okay see in any question the realistic environment is uh, given in detailed uh, words so each and every words in the question is very much important to visualize the things in your imagination so you should not neglect any single word from the question and uh, word by word you are reading you have to create the visualize the environment in your mind in order to get the better understanding of the actual environment in which the plane or a subject is resting with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane so in the same way also here you just start to construct the environment in your mind a pentagonal plane yes a pentagonal plane uh, 40 mm side the side length of this pentagonal plane is 40 mm 40 40 40 40, 40 and 40 is yes, resting on vp it's going to rest on vp consider this board as the vertical plane vp by one of its corners see what are all the various parts of the body in this plane this is nothing but the surface the flat surface and the five uh, straight line like parts are nothing but the edges or it may be called as sides and the point of intersection of sides is nothing but corners okay so three different parts are in the body of this plane surface sides and corners okay out of these three this pentagonal plane is going to rest on the vertical plane by its corner one corner totally five numbers of corners are there out of this only one corner is going to rest on the vertical plane and the surface of the plane is perpendicular to vp the surface uh, in addition to resting in a corner in vp the surface is again perpendicular to vp okay perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp if the surface now it is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp but one case is that a plane can maintain its surface perpendicular to both horizontal plane and vertical plane in that way if it may uh, resting in that way now also the pentagonal plane is resting on vp by one of its corner and its surface is perpendicular to vp in the same way it's perpendicular to hp also but in this problem what we are having is it is resting on vp by one of its corner and the surface is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp in this way it is resting okay parallel to hp one base side containing the resting corner okay one base side containing the resting corner how many sides actually there how many base sides actually there five base sides are there in this pentagonal plane out of this five uh, base sides one base side containing the resting corner only one corner is resting in the vp so why, which uh, which side is pointing uh, in this word is one side containing the resting corner actually the resting corner is contained with two base sides out of these two base sides one base side is 30 degree inclined to vp 30 degree inclined to vp so that inclination when it is resting with vp with one base corner and the surface is perpendicular to vp and a parallel to hp in addition that 
side the side one side which is contained by the resting corner not all the other sides so out of the all five sides only two sides are contained with the resting corner so out of this two also only one side we are speaking about is 30 degree inclined to vp it is maintaining 30 degree inclined to vp this 30 degree inclined to vp is not possible to view from the front view okay only from the top view only we can see just for your understanding purpose i am tilting it so the one side containing the resting corner making 30 degree inclination with the vertical plane so in that uh, the mean time uh, that uh, side is 15 mm above hp the same side is 15 mm above hp it this word will uh, applicable to all the sides because the surface of the plane is parallel to hp so all the sides are having equal altitude with the hp if one side is 15 mm above hp what about the total plane the total plane is 15 mm above hp because it is parallel to hp okay this need to be understand in uh, indirect manner so this is what the question given here the question is not asking anything else the question is actually a translation of the graphical view of our object so in this way the object is situated uh, with respect to the horizontal plane and vertical plane and now you need to draw the front and top views of the uh, particular object this is nothing but drawing the projections of the object you need to draw the front and top views of the object so i think you already uh, roughly uh, viewed in which way the pentagonal plane is located with respect to hp and vp the pentagonal plane of side 40 mm is resting on vp by one corner and the mean time the surface of the pentagonal plane is perpendicular to vp and parallel to hp and one side containing the resting corner having 30 degree inclination with vp so in that condition we need to draw the front view and the top view of the given object so how to uh, draw that as usual what we followed the procedure in the last problem the same we can adopt here also one by one we can start first of all we need to draw the xy line next you need to decide from which view you need to start whether from the front view or from the top view in the last problem we started answering from the front view why because in the last question the object's actual position is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so if an object is standing like that the surface the base surface the base shape of the plane is viewed only through the front view not from the top view so we decided to start answering from the front view but in the current problem the object is actually placed in that way placed in that way so it is not possible to see the pentagonal base of the object from the front view are you able to see its pentagonal base from the front view it's not possible in order to see the base surface of the object you need to see it from the top only so in this problem you need to start the answer from the top view not from the front view okay from the top view only you need to start this is the first identification you need to start the answer from the top view so the starting the answer from top view and front view is not a constant thing based on the position of the object it's vary from problem to problem okay so from the top view in this question you need to start and the next one condition uh, we need to draw the pentagonal base right we need to draw the pentagonal base in the top view and how to draw as per the problem statement the side is given 40 mm okay we need to draw a pentagon of side 40 mm and then resting on vp by one of its corners resting on vp by one of its corners 
if an object is need to resting on vp how to show it in the top view you need to touch the xy line you need to touch the xy line xy line uh, from the xy line itself you need to start to draw the object so in this question the object is one corner of the object is touching vp so how to show that touching vp phenomena in the top view you need to touch the one corner of the pentagon with the xy line because anything you are doing with the xy line is nothing but relation with the vp in the 3d environment okay so we need to touch the xy line with one base corner of the object then with uh, the consideration you need to draw the rest of the things okay i am going to start the drawing the pentagon by touching one corner with the xy line in the top view in addition what is the next condition uh, the surface of the plane is perpendicular to vp and the parallel to hp yeah by considering this condition only we have started drawing the object from the top view it's already considered this condition is already considered and one base side containing the resting corner one base side containing the resting corner is 30 degree inclined to vp 30 degree inclined to vp so 30 degree inclined to vp who is inclined to vp one base side particularly which base side which is containing the resting corner so these everything you needed to concentrate word by word then only your answer will be a full proof one you need to maintain one base side 30 degree inclined to vp in the top view in particular that base side should be contained with the resting corner so here i am already marked the resting corner resting corner is nothing but a point okay from that i need to draw one base side maybe that base side can make 30 degree inclination with the vp so here you need to make 30 degree inclination with the xy because anything with the xy in the top view is nothing but with the vp in the actual environment so now I am taking 30 degree one side length is 40 mm so I am measuring 40 mm Yes, I just drawn one side of the pentagon. It is 30 degree inclined to xy. Why we are using 30 degree inclined to xy? Because that particular side is inclined at 30 degree to vp in the actual environment. Okay. Now, by considering its our reference side, we need to complete drawing the pentagon. Okay. So for that. We can follow the included angle method. Uh, any, any method which is better to, uh, uh, by considering with yourself.
Yes, I just completed a drawing the required pentagon. So totally five corners are there. I need to use five alphabets to mention the name of each corner, uh, starting from that one. Maybe named as corner A. It is B, C, D, and finally E. Really E. So immediately after marking the name of the corner, we need to draw the projectors. towards the front view area now we completed the top view so towards front view area we need to draw the projectors it's our regular rule the projectors need to be drawn by using the drafter strictly uh, then only you can maintain the projectors perpendicular to the xy line always from each and every corner we need to draw the projector I just completed a drawing the projectors for the each and every corner of the pentagonal plane, and then we need to now complete with our front view. In the front view, uh, as you know, the object will be looking like just a line only, just a line only, because it is a two uh, D object, a plane. In any one view only, you can see the surface of the plane, since it is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. the surface can be viewed only in the top view that is the plane is looking like a plane in in top view only in the front view it's going to be look like a line only so in the front view that line should be drawn and what will be the length of the line so it's depend upon the distance between the end projectors so totally five number of projectors we drawn for this pentagonal plane is so top view for a for b for c D E totally five projectors we drawn out of the five projectors who are all the end projectors the extreme projectors only nothing but the end projectors that is the projector of B and the projector of E these two are the end projector which are all giving you the boundary of the entire view okay so your front view should be lie in between these two end projectors and already you know the front view is nothing but simply a line. so where to draw that straight line between the end projectors here or there or where that also given in the question that is uh, see and i am i am uh, reading once again one base side containing the resting corner is 30 degree inclined to vp and 15 mm above hp 15 mm above hp the side ae is 15 mm above hp it's nothing but the entire plane is 15 mm above hp because the plane is parallel to hp so from xy you have to measure 15 mm altitude then you need to locate the front view of the plane i am measuring 15 mm altitude in the front view area that is 15 mm above hp and 
drawing a leader line. That is the leader line. And your front view nothing but bounded between the end projectors. So here only you need to draw with the HB pencil. So from this end projector up to the next end projector. So just for the understanding purpose, I am giving multiple strokes for that line. Generally in your paper when you are work with whether it is 2H pencil, H pencil or HP pencil, you should complete drawing a, drawing a line or an arc, whatever it may be with a single stroke. You should not uh, travel between the track. Okay? Within a single stroke you need to complete it. Then only this will be look better. And here the corner is nothing but it is a projector of B. Here you can mark B dash and this is nothing but projector of C. So here you can have C dash and it is projector of A. Here you can mark A dash. The same way here D dash and finally here E dash. Okay. Definitely the order will not be in the standard order. A, B, C, D in the order, this will not be there. Definitely the order may be changed. Okay. Whatever the projector, you need to name it. Okay. So the B dash, C dash, A dash, D dash, E dash. This line is nothing but the front view of the given plane. And this pentagonal plane, which is appeared as a pentagon in the top view, is nothing but your actual plane's top view. Okay. This is nothing but the answer for the given question. So in this way you can develop the front and top views of the given planes in the XY environment. So the orthography projection concept is same here. Only based on the object we are changing or extending some procedure in that. Okay. Once you are having any doubt you can ask in it. The last question we record, worked with a square. Now we are working with a pentagon. That is the difference. And in the last question, the object is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. And now it is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. But the concept used to draw the front and top view is same. There is no difference in that. Whatever it may be the object given, whatever it may be the resting condition given, don't bother about that. Just follow the standard procedure of projecting the object. Then you will be provided with the answer within a short of time. Don't confuse with and uh, don't consider that if the problem is pentagon, they, this will be hard. If the problem is square, this will be easy. Not like that. For any type of object, the work is the same. The work is the same. There is no difference in the workload. 